got to practice for a little I bit. Gotta, yeah, I don't want to, but I have to because um, the show is tonight. Yeah, because I've got the, uh, the other clients coming at noon, so we're totally cool. Okay, so yeah, I'll just play for to. about a half hour. Unfortunately, a couple years after my transplant, my marriage fell apart, something I did not expect. Fortunately, both of us have remarried really, really amazing people, and I'm happy. The downside is my kids now live in another state, and so that's tricky. But fortunately, I see them a lot. Do you miss them still? Oh, I miss them all the time. So this is a lot like clearing your head? Annoying I, I, your head? I'm clearing my head. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to play tonight. I used to play the music all the time, and I would know all the songs. And then when I had the heart transplant, for some reason, I just I forgot most of my music. And I couldn't really remember how to play it. I never really shared that with anybody, but it was, it was, I didn't, I was embarrassed. It was a little frustrating that I couldn't remember my songs. So I spent a lot of time trying to relearn everything, and there's still stuff I'm relearning. Um, so I, I get, I get knots in my head where I'm trying to figure out which song am I going to play, and do I remember it? Some songs, you just sit down, like the one I just played, um, and I hadn't played that for, last time I played Time was probably about two years ago, and I just, I just nailed it. But that's because it's, it's part of me. But some songs where you're struggling to write a song, it's just, it's, 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 it's in there, I just gotta find a way to pull it back out. And some of the songs are too painful to play, so. So like I wrote this one for my, my daughter Eden. And I never forgot it. of that song but I never forgot that song you know now that I have Eliza I haven't written her a song and she's almost two years old and she'll have a song I just what's her personality oh Eliza she's she's just laid back I mean I can sit here and try to write her a song so like if I think about her because that's how I write my music is based on how I'm feeling I don't try to picture like uh, the sun setting and, or a scene of a film or I just base on feelings. So like if I, you know, if I were to play right now randomly something I've never played before and I'm writing um, and I'm thinking about Eliza.
Because see, I get them, I get... <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's when the magic happens, you know? Anyways. Did you love it? Yeah, I need food. Okay. <laughs> it's time for the baby. That's... No, yeah. but that's, that's, the, that's the problem. There's pain. There's love. You know? So, and then everybody's experiencing this. Everybody is feeling these things. So my job, because the gift I was given is just to play those things, interpret those things, and then other people, they feel it. There's no lyrics. They get the insight they need, the revelation they need for how to, how to deal and cope with these types of feelings and emotions. So. It seems like anything we break, God fixes it. And that's exactly what he did for me, for my girls. God fixed it.